What's going on, small fries? We're back, making another 200cc staff ghost. Let's watch the world record. 1 in 02266 by Flag M. Flag M was the same guy who set the world record on Wario's gold mine, so I guess he's just a beast. Look at him again. Oh, yeah, I turned off custom music. I'll turn that back on because it's nice, especially on this track. Um, but for this one, the main thing to worry about is this shortcut right here. It looks pretty easy, right? It's the same as 150. And it is pretty easy to execute, but hitting both boost panels is crucial. It saves probably about half a second, somewhere in that echelon. So hitting both boost panels is something that we want to do every lap. Problem, it is not easy. It's very Reggie based to, uh, to actually hit both boost panels. So we're, we're gonna have to get a little lucky on our PB. Now, uh, a few days ago, I actually had made the recording for the new Staff Ghost, and I got a 104.4, which I thought was pretty good. And it is actually pretty good. Here's the problem. Uh, the microphone was super quiet, and you could not hear me like the whole time. So we're doing it again. Hopefully, I can beat a 104.4. If I don't, that's fine. It's already a decent time. I don't need to improve it. Uh, but yeah, the main thing is just hitting both boost panels. So I guess we can watch the end here. Boom, he finishes it. Did you expect him to mess up? Okay, unfortunately, sorry guys, but we're gonna have to use Daisy. I know, sweater choice, but did you really think I'd use any other character on Daisy Circuit? All right, here's the time I made the other day. Honestly, a pretty good time, but uh, I don't care. We're gonna try to make another one. Here we go, this. See, hitting the stairs is bad, and you wanna hit both boost panels. It's hard to miss most of the stair and hit both boost panels. Ah, you see, like that. You see where I go over one of the boost panels? It loses a ton of time, and there's not much you can do to control it. I guess you can lean down to try to fast fall and hit it, but then you'll end up hitting most of the staircase. Besides the staircase, though, the rest of the track is pretty, pretty simple, pretty trivial. Minus the hairpin turn. The hairpin turn is a bit tricky because you want to, you want to like go tight enough so that you hit the cones, but not too tight to where you hit the curb. Like that. That's perfect. Now we can get up here. I'm not gonna ride the banister the entire way, just some of the way, because uh, I hate that stupid banister. Oh my goodness, I stayed up there. Let's go. You know how much time that saves? Probably not a lot, actually. All right, I have to get my mind off this stupid staircase shortcut, because Reggie just is not letting it happen today. So you know what we're doing? Remember the Sacramento Kings? What do you mean, remember? They, they're still around. They're just so irrelevant, you probably forgot about them. Yeah, well, guess what? They might not actually be that bad this year. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Big Fry, the Kings suck so bad. They haven't even made the playoffs since 2006. How could they possibly have a good year this year? Well, they're not going to have a good season because it's the Kings. They're not going to, but they could have a better season. Because they, uh, they got a new rookie who's really good. Keegan Murray and DeMontis Sabonis. Those are my two favorite NBA players right now. Because they give me some hope for the Sacramento Kings. I am hoping that they can win like 30 games out of 82. That's not a very high bar, you would think. But it is for the Sacramento Kings because they're, they're terrible. But yeah, that's the Kings news. They're winning the offseason. When it comes to the actual season, uh, we'll, we'll just, just let's just say they will not be winning anything. I mean, I, I get y'all probably don't really want to hear on the Sacramento Kings because they suck and also who cares, but I mean, you got something better to talk about? You know what Daisy Circuit kind of reminds me of? All right, this is a stretch, but it kind of reminds me of France. It reminds me of France more than any other track. Even Delfino Square. All right, I think someone, I think someone in the Small Fries Discord was trying to convince me that Delfino Square looks like France. Uh, it doesn't, mainly because Delfino Square is good. I mean, also, Delfino Square is a pretty track. France? Nah. Dude, I cannot get anything going. It's a lot of sitting around, you know? That's, that's what time trials is, by the way. It's just a bunch of sitting around, waiting for the run to happen. It catches you by surprise. What? Okay, I, I said I said that the uh, the successful run catches you by surprise. Fails do too, I guess. 
I did not see that coming. You know, just wall clip off the invisible wall that I didn't even know was there. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I love time trialing. But it gets so boring after like 45 minutes. I finally experienced what it's like to live in Ohio. That actually reminds me of a funny story. So my uncle and my dad, um, they lived in Alaska for a long time. And so my little cousin and my uncle went up to Alaska for a little while, for like a week. And while they were there, my little cousin got super excited because he wanted to visit Alaska and he wanted to see the glaciers and the nature and all that stuff. And so he was super pumped. And then when they got there, uh, all of their fun activities got rained out and there was nothing to do. And they were very far away from pretty much civilization. And so my little cousin was super bummed out. He's like, wow, there's really nothing to do in Alaska. And my uncle turns to me, he's like, you just now figure that out. Literally the Ohio of the United States. Oh, dude, that was it. That was going to get me maybe a 103, perhaps. That would have definitely gotten me a low 104, which is nice. I mean, I don't need a faster time than that for a staff ghost. But wouldn't it be cool? Also, that was a really, really good stair cut. Whoa, that's, that's a good lap. Oh my goodness. That is the worst possible luck for me to get, but I could still get a 103. If I hit both cones. Nope. That was a PB with a terrible, like, awful luck on lap three. Listen, I could just take that. All right, that would be pretty good, but I'm not going to do that, okay? Mainly, oh, that's not even my PB. Never mind. We're definitely not going to take that. Okay, I, it's, it's 103 or nothing. Dude, this is like the exact same thing that happened last time. Please give me a good stare. Nope. Well, that's not that bad, but unless I get a point zero. I think it's out of the picture. Oh. That was close. It was almost bad. Turned out being okay. There we go, point two. Oh yeah. I'm, big, I'm just going with it. Probably not a huge time loss. Assuming I drive well for the rest of the lap. Boom! Boom! Oh my goodness. That is a monster time. I think that's close to top 15 worldwide uh yeah let's check the rankings on that i could be wrong but i think that's close to top 15 okay here we go let's check what it's at it was a 103.6 let's see where that lies literally right on the 15 mark 
Did I not say it was around 15? Also, he bopped a French guy. You're welcome. Uh, accidentally made it a little too good. But hey, I'm just challenging y'all. Y'all can beat it. It only took me like maybe a combined hour and a half of time trialing. It's not that bad. Y'all can definitely beat it. But with that small fries, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, stay cute, stay loyal, because I already know you are. And goodbye.